Welcome back to Minish Cap and Veil vale Falls, picking up a kinstone chest that we got. Hit with a kinstone in it. <laughs> kinstone for kinstone. There's a lot of that. Eh, well, hey. So, I mean, what's Minish Cap without one more kinstone video? Yeah. Yes, I remember getting these. Of course. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so worth it. That ah, crap. You're going to get to a point where your kinstones aren't going to be worth it anymore because you're running out of fusions. I'm well beyond that. I'm sure I have enough already. These jumps are a little tricky because you kind of need to do the double jump. But then that also sometimes is too far. Yeah, the cape is... I mean, we said in the last video, but the cape is a little weird to control in this game. Oh boy, are we going to find another Goron, buddy? I think so. This is a pretty big path. Oh boy, there's Kinstones, too. <laughs> yeah. I'm almost getting sick of them now. There's clearly a gap there that I don't see, so we're going to be coming back here later. Okay, that's fine. Alternately, maybe I just forgot about it, or I thought this path would lead back down to it. This is one of the bigger dig rooms. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I admire the kid's stamina. That actually took us to a different map. That's, like, the only thing down there. Thankfully, it doesn't regenerate the dirt. Yeah. Preemptive strike. <laughs> there could be a monster. There's probably a kinstone. There's definitely a kinstone. Now this side probably has the mysterious wall. Me, yeah, it's gotta be. You can also see there a little minish passage. Hmm, curious. So you've picked up quite a few seashells now. Are, are we going to see the end of this? Because I just can't wait. Indeed we are. Yes. That's why the video's titled that. Figurines. I'm so ready. This is just a jerk move. There's nothing there. I know. The spiral's just begging you to dig to it, too. There's got to be something there. Here's a beanstalk we got a long time ago. Yeah, we opened this one ages ago. Oh, nice. Money that you don't need. And yep, it maxed out on seashells. Yeah. So let's go ahead and just dump them. 69. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Do not 69 a ball and chain soldier. Oh, yeah. Bad idea. Why are they calling it a ball and chain soldier? Don't you know your Zelda lore game? It's totally an iron knuckle. Everybody knows it. But yeah, these are pretty much the last of the figurines. Yeah, <laughs> the icy dick guy. <laughs> also, look for the fire variety. No, hang on, I'm gonna check how many shells I have. 109, so I can go ahead and just get 100%. This is the last figurine, I might as well. Yeah, oh, you don't need the shells for anything anyway. After this. You might, technically, but... Since we still got a good bit of game left, you're going to pick up more seashells, so you'll be fine. Yeah. 
And last but not least, yeah. The wisp. So not the bubble. They're totally bubbles, this game. So there are actually figurines in the post-game, but luckily they don't count towards the reward you get. Right. At least the big reward. There's boss figurines, right? And you can't get the ones for the final boss yet. Right. Yeah, <laughs> Capless Gunkle. Yep. I love that they use your name. Figurines for everything. So just gonna breeze through them. They're all characters you've seen. Interestingly, there are also scenes like that. There's settings and a bunch of characters at once. Some of them are kind of neat. Some of them are just like Boulder. <laughs> yeah, why is that? A, why is that a figurine? All right, if you want to see him, go back and pause the video. Jackhammer it. And so the reward for getting all the figurines we get by just going right across the river and talking to this guy and flipping him off his chair. <laughs> it's a figurine of a seashell. I can't believe they didn't do that. It's funny, he says we got the Karlov medal, but you can't actually get that until you get the post-game figurines. <laughs> you can't have it yet. Wow, what a reward. Yep, this house we couldn't get into from the front, now we can. It's got a piece of heart. It sucks that a piece of heart is hidden behind the figurines. Yeah, that is, that is a dick move. And also the sound test. Yeah, so, I mean, if you want to play any of the music, just sit in here and play it. Or just find the soundtrack online, someone has it. Yeah. Oh, the festival music, we haven't heard that since part one. Yeah, too bad it stops when you leave the phonograph. I think it'd be neat if it just kept it playing while you were in town or something. Yeah. Oh, almost maxed out. I went ahead and I think I, like, bought some extra bombs. So it wouldn't be wasted space. <laughs> Can't waste a single rupee. <laughs> Way to go. What an awesome day. I saw someone else achieve something. Yeah, right. Guy's having a great time watching you. We checked in on... Uh, oh, that's right. We gave this one to... For Rory. Or no, this is Nehru. Nehru. Yeah, why the hell? I'll, I'll use her charm. Yeah. Each Oracle's charm does something different. I feel like Farrar's combines Nehru's and Din's. Mm-hmm. Ooh, we get another skill from this guy. Because we got the cape. Down stab, yes! It's the best move in Zelda 2. And like the roll attack, it's finicky to use, so I never do. Yeah, this one's kind of dumb. I'm still waiting for the final technique. Position. Yeah, so this move works really well in Zelda 2 because it's a 2D platformer side-by-side -side view. This whole top-down view, doing the down stab, it's duh. It's hard to do, and it just, I don't know, it's not useful. It just takes more time to do what swinging a sword at an enemy would normally do anyway. Yeah. And if you're at a point where you needed the rock's cape to cover a gap, you're not going to downstab. No. <laughs> downstab to your death. Looks like he's pogo jumping off of it. Kinda. Gunkel, you're going to blunt the edge of your blade that way. This is like right on the other side from the mayor's place. But it's another blade. Wave blade, there he is. And I think that leads us to another blade. Yeah. There are some blades that are hidden behind waterfalls that you need a kinstone with another blade in order to find. Is there something hidden behind every waterfall in this land? I think there is. Finally, I'm free! He does not have a heart piece. Great Blade. 
He's the greatest. Forever and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Oh yeah, he's the one who teaches you the last move, I think. The best move. Ow, my sword. Yeah, right. So back to the dead guy. I mean, obviously, who wouldn't? This is pretty cool, but I also never use it. It's not quite like the great spin from Wind Waker, where you just went chaotic and just eventually stopped. In this one, you have to keep pressing the button, and then it lasts a certain amount of time. You know, it must be very easy to backflip when you're a ghost. Oh, yeah. It's like, come on, dude, you're not even showing off. So that technique is kind of useful, because setting up a spin attack is a little awkward. But if you have one ready, and you could just kind of rocket at somebody with it, it works. Yeah, I guess that does make it viable in combat. And it's just another upgrade. Mm-hmm. Upgrade blade. Even longer. Yeah. <laughs> Spinning, loading, buffering, vomiting. All over the place. <laughs> bleeding. Internal bleeding. You're getting way too philosophical, buddy. So eight tiger scrolls. Yep, we've got them all. Got all the scrolls, but that doesn't mean we have all the techniques. That's correct. Ring the damn bell! Yeah. Thank you. Someone mentioned you can't ring the bell, you need the rock's cape in order to jump into it. Yes. I've been waiting for that from the beginning of the game. And now we head back into the cave. To get the damn Moldorm. Right. This is where the wall is. There it is. The Goron Beeper. Oh good, it's the last one. Arf arf. Or is it the last one for this section? Are there two more? I don't remember. No, six is the max. Oh, okay. It is the last one. Or or <laughs> Are you a seal? Rock seal. Gonna break the seal. Gust of wind just blows him out of the cave. Right. It releases a poison gas and kills everybody. <laughs> ha! We're rocks! We don't have lungs! Gorons inherit the earth. Already got that. There's no food back here, it's just a big hole. That took forever. Why don't you benefit the fruits of our labor? <laughs> okay. Nice. With how long it took, yeah. But a reward. It's just another damn bottle. Yeah, right. The most convoluted bottle to get in the entire game. Just about. I just realized that's Polt, though. Oh, yeah. The king's assistant. Or whoever he is. The minister, I guess. Maybe he's the star pupil of the school. Could you stop menacingly slapping that stick? Fuse faster. I knew you were trouble.
Yep, still patrolling. Let's go ahead and put that last element into the sword. And make it properly the four sword. The quattro sayeth. <laughs> the shave quattro. Ooh. It's golden and master swordy now. Very fancy. And now the origin is complete. We have the four sword. Still doesn't split us into separate characters, but we are able to make four individual doubles now. And you can also shoot a spinny beam. Quadruplets, I guess. Hey, that was some shit. Light force. Okay. This light force that's split into three lights? No, it's just a mural. It's the mural we saw in the intro. And we're gonna see it again! Just in case you didn't watch it, I guess. Maybe. I think it's a little faster this time. Moblins looking pretty happy about that. Look at those golden flowing locks. Yeah. What if the murals were Dunkle got the idea for his outfit? Where's Ezlo on these murals? They knew. Now this is the new bit. We learn where the golden light was the whole time. It's inside of the prince. Okay. I mean, we already kind of knew that. We saw that in the beginning. Oh, come on. We fell for this. But Vadi, I could give you love and care. <laughs> And things you really need. But you would never know because you killed me. Yeah. Oh god, please, please kill me now. Hey, thanks for taking the hit! Yeah, right. So, if there's stained glass... Couldn't you just look at it from the other side? Yeah, where is the light coming from? Yeah. Well, the Elemental Sanctuary is in the Minish world. Ah, uh, right, you went through a portal. So there's Minish on the other side, just wondering what the hell this has to do with anything. Yeah. This doesn't apply to us. Yeah, we have ominous music, by the way. Uh-oh. Things have gone bad. This doesn't look right at all. A Gorgon's been through here. Some cockatrices from Final Fantasy. So that spin attack spell that we saw, the glowing beam, this is what it's used for. Mm-hmm. It takes me a minute to figure that out. Right. It's not the power of the bird. But it unpetrifies everyone. Yeah. It's kind of neat that they put one guy in front of the door, which basically forces you to learn that before you get out of here. Yeah. There's probably some people still playing the game. Yeah, right. How do I get out of here? Oh, don't free the assistant. Just get out of here. I'm a hero. <laughs> I know, okay. And I need everyone to know it.
Well, obviously he's planning something fiendish. What do you think? <laughs> he seemed so fine earlier when he killed everyone. He took her to the roof, but I think it's fine. What's the king gonna do? Why don't you just go stop Vadi? Seriously. It's been made evil, which means it's purple and green. That horrible monster and his knowledge of art contrast. <laughs> He's just standing there. Why are you doing that? Hey, man. Yeah, so Dark Hyrule Castle, that's pretty much the final dungeon of the game. Yeah. It's a bit long. Yeah, it's quite long. I kind of like it as a final dungeon, though. It's like a real gauntlet. It definitely tests you on pretty much everything. No, no, not the wisp. God damn it. Now I can't use any of my weapons. And also, it doesn't deactivate when I leave the room. Oh, man, that's a bitch. And apparently it lasts for... Oh, and then you got hit by the red one. And there's a false door, too. And then when you left, it respawned the blue one. This is terrible. Oh god, they respawned quickly. This is a terrible room. Yeah. At the very least, I could kill Stalfos in one hit. That's nice. Yeah, the sword gets a pretty good upgrade when you get the, the four elements into it. Inching along. When we're tiny, we wanted to fall down this hole. And watch out for the buzzer. Does uh, Gunkle retain his density even though he's smaller? Because that was pretty fast fall. <laughs> It's a less funny Ant Man. Yeah. A little weird that they put the door to all the cells in one of the cells. Right. Now we're gonna put you in this cell. Don't push the button. So annoying when it deactivates your spin or your charge. Hey. Hey, hey. No, it was all Ezlo. He painted everything. It's the work of one man. So the thing I mentioned, and it's probably pretty obvious, but the king being replaced by Vadi is the reason he can't fuse with him. But also at this point, once you freed him, he no longer has that fusion anyway. Right. So that's why it's sort of missable, but it does get transferred to someone else. But you do need to rescue the king. He gives you a key, which we need in order to get out. Mm hmm Obviously, this whole video is, like, the rest of the video isn't going to be for this dungeon. This is just a section of it. The actual Dark Castle video will be the next part. Right. Now, I do appreciate this is kind of a little bit of a callback to Link to the Past, where you initially go into the castle and you have to, you know, go into the dungeon, get the princess out of there. God damn it! My double got lit on fire. <laughs> what? How does that work? Once again, I have so many bombs, I'm quite liberal with them. Oh yeah. There's not really any secret walls here though. No. This is the final dungeon. You're pretty much done with secrets. God damn it. But not fake doors. You can bomb those false walls. Oh, good, my favorite. 
Yeah, but you kill them quickly now. Two hits. So they made sure to put a lot of them in here. Wait, I want that. Need that beam. Now I can kill these from a distance. And I can't do anything about it. How you like that exploit, boys? Basically just getting that for later. Yeah. Because now I can't leave. This is the entrance. Kunkel's like, yeah, I'm not going to have any part of that. But outside, everything's fine. By the order of the king, from inside his cell. Right. So now that we have the four sword, and we can split into four, we can move this rock out of the way. You could pretty much go ahead and finish the game, but there are a couple places where you need the four sword. Mm hmm Just for secrets. And to complete all the heart pieces, obviously. Right. Two more heart pieces and one more heart container. See, that's nice. In the older games, you would have just kept moving past the ladder. But in this one, you can press the A button and redirect your momentum. Right. The swimming was the worst in Link to the Past for that. That's in Vale Falls. It's another dig tunnel, but there aren't any more Gorons. Yeah. So is it just full of kinstones and shells? I think so. I guess we're about to see. He also has a second one, so you need to leave and come back. Just hear a minute. Ouch! <laughs> Who blew a hole in my roof? I'm still cutting all the grass, even though I know I won't need any more. Yeah. I'm guessing that fusion only triggers once you've got the rock scape. Well, it could open up the hole, you just can't do anything about it yet. God damn it. <laughs> hey, at least it doesn't make you go all the way back to the beginning of the room. Yeah. <laughs> that was tactical. Right. What could our reward be? This actually takes us to a familiar person's house. It's Librari. Oh. Hey, buddy. Since the library is actually blocked off now, we can't get in there. But he just straight up gives you a full heart container. We're best friends now. Yay! I don't think this is a chest. The monster. Oh yeah. He's quite bouncy. Nothing else. But he does have an interesting dialogue. <laughs> he just immediately started getting lonely. Okay, bye then. Since you have nothing of value to give me, I will no longer come back ever again. You have nothing of value to give me. You have no value to me. Ah, yes. Just one more. <laughs> and the icing on the cake. For later. And again. Something good is bound to happen. I haven't really shown, but I, I do make liberal use of the map to tell me where the secrets are. And this is just more rupees. Right. The fact that they put them on the map is really helpful, because there's so many. You could fuse with people and then completely forget. And I certainly did. I haven't shown this. You got robbed. Yep. 
lost 80 rupees, damn. <laughs> it was that guy's big day till you stabbed him to death. <laughs> Maybe I lost 100 and picked one of the red ones up again. So just right below me. Thanks. Could have used 100 rupees there. We've got to max back out again. So, see? And since there's no way for me, as Minish size, to go back into that particular part of the sewers, that frozen chest is permanently missable. Alright. Whatever. I got a newsletter to read. Yeah, I think I tried that. It doesn't make it any easier for me. Yeah. The timing's even trickier than that one trick that's hard to do. Sign me up. Festoon? Man. That's a that's a word you don't see. <laughs> I just realized an enemy we haven't seen since the dungeon they were in was those mushroom guys. Oh yeah. We've seen everything else since. Obviously they're a figurine, right? <laughs> we can have them forever. Oh, the next newsletter's gonna be the last one. It's a little sentimental about it. See, I'm trying, but it's not super reliable either. There you go. Last one is gold. Uh, we already did that. And that. And that's the end of the chapter. Right. Have you ever wanted these things? Yeah, they're great. Okay, next chapter. <laughs> Igor. Which is basically what you get when you shoot something in the eye anyway. Right. Oh, yeah. Could use some of those. <laughs> Goodbye forever, Swift Blade. Come on over and spar for a while. I'm pretty sure you actually can't spar with him. No, he just says, that's all I can teach you. This is, I think, the last Kinstone Fusion to get the last heart piece. Hello! Hey! Just planted a bean! It's gonna be big as shit. It's gonna be bigger than all those other guys' beans. And it's just immediately north. Nice. Hit the north. No, oh, it sucks. Can't follow me, P Hat. <laughs> Even though you fly, he can't get the altitude. The air is too thin. To guarantee that I get all the figurines at the end. Right. There we are. All right, hundred percent hearts. Nice. I'm gonna buy some potion for the final dungeon. Yeah, I know I'm gonna need it. But also because we haven't bought any yet, so why not? Look at that mixing animation. There's so many frames. Yeah. We've got nothing else to buy. See, in this game, the red potion is a full heal. Yeah. Which is funny, because it's like the complete opposite of how the red and blue potions usually are. I know. Some of the games like to mix that up a little bit. It's weird. It scares me. But next time, the only thing left to do is to go take on the Dark Hyrule Castle. We're going to go turn the lights on. So it won't be so, you know. 